that in order for young people to grow up and be uh, full, fully engaged in the world um, through their work and through their life, they're going to need a broader set of skills than the, the traditional approach um, fosters. Uh, because, in, like I said, in the real world, nobody asks you questions that, that are the final exam questions. They expect you to be able to do something with the knowledge. Uh, and all of those are part of um, alternative, if you would, approaches to education. <laughs> PBL의 이론적인 배경으로는 구성주의라는 것을 하고 있습니다. 어떤 교사가 어, 어떤 일방적으로 이것을 배워라고 하는 것은 그 교사의 머리에서 나온 것입니다. 그런데 아무리 똑같은 걸 주더라도 우리 학생들마다 각각 이 틀이 그 모양이, 특성이, 내용이 다르기 때문에 받아들이는 것이 다릅니다. 그래서 그 구성주의에서는 바로 그런 거죠. 각각이 갖고 있는 이 틀이 다르기 때문에 똑같은 현상을 주더라도 다르게 이해한다. 구성주의에서 how the term is relevant. So what do you think over when you sit in the club and the kids are going to be in the middle of the And since in the 21st century, anything that can be done um, digitally, anything that can be automated will be, it's those people who are resourceful enough to be able to say, well, here's a new question. I've never run into it before, but here's what I already know, here's what I can find out easily, here's what I have to experiment and try different things, and that's to me the center of constructivism and why it's become a buzzword today. There are three basic tenets to constructivism. One is that um, we learn through our experiences, we learn in the environment. Okay, and uh, your environment could be different from my environment. We might learn the same thing. So it's important to understand how we come to learn. Uh, the second part would be that the, um, the purpose for learning is uh, some kind of a puzzlement or some kind of a conflict that uh, makes the learner want to go and try to figure out what is causing this or what, what the issues are. Uh, the third part is that the uh, negotiation of meaning is done socially. So how you understand the world, how I understand the world might be different, but we can negotiate a shared meaning. So those are the three parts of it. Um, very often it assumes that students should be passive, they're a blank slate, and the teacher is presenting the knowledge to them. And students should sit in rows. If you go into a classroom, very often the teacher is lecturing and the students are taking notes. That's a behavioralist. Um, students are rewarded. Um, there, are, there are rewards for good behavior. Um, so it's that reinforcement, the idea of reinforcement. Uh, constructivism, on the other hand, assumes that knowledge is built, and that's why a learning philosophy is so important. Knowledge is built through interaction, uh, through doing things, through comparing ideas.
I think if you read John Dewey, who was our greatest education philosopher, who did his work around 1900, all of his work is based on the idea of very hands-on kind of learning. So you might say it's kind of American in spirit. And then in the 1920s, when we had progressive education, which my children had many years later, again, you didn't need to have the phrase problem-based learning, project-based learning, because people were doing it. The, de- the name is maybe new, but the ideas are, are quite old. Kusongjuinan,我们的머릿속에서과연어떤식으로지식이습득되고형성되는가를그굉장히관심을갖게됩니다그러다가그것을어머릿속에만머물게 the adoption of the, the new Common Core State Standards, um, it's it, the skills that we're requiring of our students have changed. And we're, we're asking them now to be problem solvers and more in-depth thinkers and do more critical thinking. I think there's a, there's a couple reasons. One is the Common Core Standards that were adopted by the United States um, or 40 of the states in the United States. They set out a set of standards that, that are deeper, fewer and deeper, and require students to be able to uh, use critical thinking, make a claim, and communicate it. Um, project-based learning is a great way to do that. 그래서 그 교수 그 구성주의 인식론에 입각한 교수 학습 방법론을 개발하다 보니까 나온 것이 프로젝트 베이스드 러닝인데요. 그것이 먼저 뭐 그러니까 구성주의가 나온 다음에 나왔다는 것이 아니라 이미 존재하고 있었어요. 그런데 그러니까 각 많은 사람들이 하고는 있었지만 그것이 그주 중심되는 것은 아니었던 거죠. 그렇지만 이렇게 타이밍이 구성주의가 나오고 구성주의에서 이런 얘기를 하다 보니까 아이 방식이 있었는데 이거랑 맞춰 보니까 너무나 그 구성주의 인식론하고 그 방법론이 너무 잘 매치가 되는 거죠. <목소리> 